Hey friends, Lydia here and I'm putting together a spring cleaning smoothie. This is honestly a smoothie you can enjoy any time of the year, but I especially enjoy using it in the springtime because it's very cleansing and detoxifying, especially of your liver. And so I'm currently doing a seven day digest cleanse. So it's helping to just kill off anything in the gut that shouldn't be there. And I'm going to be using this smoothie because it's low in sugar and it's high in natural protein to just kind of help things along, keep my body nourished, and of course with lots of water, cleanse out and kick out anything that just doesn't need to be there. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with some celery. Um, celery is very detoxifying and it helps with eliminating carcinogens. And it's also a mild diuretic. So again, that cleansing portion, very, very helpful. Then I'm gonna be adding to it apples. And in particular, these are just some gala apples. Um, I really love that whenever I'm using apples, regardless of when you're popping them into your smoothie, they're very helpful for cleansing your system. They're high naturally in pectin and boron, and they're also great stimulants for the liver. And if you're wanting to be mindful of your blood sugar levels and your cholesterol, apples are great for lowering your cholesterol as well as keeping your blood sugars level. So apples and it goes. The next up is avocado. Um, avocados have recently become a good friend for me, partly because I figure out how to pick them <laughs> and not have them to be too ripe or to be too green. There we go. So the key is when you're getting your avocados, you want to check to do a firmness test. They should be just slightly firm. And once they really start to get soft, that's when you want to move them to the refrigerator and wait until you're going to use them. And this one I'm just using half an avocado. And avocados in general are really great and rich in vitamin E. They're naturally just essentially fatty food. They actually have a great portion of potassium, second only to bananas. And they contain 17 different vitamins and minerals. So A, C, E, magnesium is in there, niacin is in there, iron is in there. It's just a really great complete food. So avocados. And then I have just a small portion of ginger because ginger is a great stimulant for the system. It helps with moving forward and activating your body in that cleansing process. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And because at this point I have the apples in there and that's going to act as some of my sweet, and let's face it, I kind of like my smoothies to be just a little sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna also put in a little bit of peaches. Peaches are naturally low in sugar. So it's not gonna be incredibly sweet, but it's going to be just sweet enough that it's not too overwhelming. And also with peaches, they're great for preventing osteoporosis, helping to battle cancer and heart disease. And with those in there, I'm gonna finish it off with some spinach. Spinach, of course, just seems to be the name of the game whenever you're doing anything clean and green. And they are high in choline, which is great for your brain health also with folic acid, which is awesome for the heart. And we know of spinach to of course be protein. Think of Popeye and his cans of spinach. So it's another way along with the protein that I can support my protein during this seven day cleanse and not feel myself dropping off. Proteins are important, just like fats are important and just like water is important. So in here, I have all those different ingredients. I'm gonna pop in some ice. And the ice is just gonna be in here to help things to feel nicely blended together. I normally do about mm, two to three cups of ice. So if you have ice cubes, think your medium sized ice cubes, about four to six of those. You wanna put those away for me in the freezer? You wanna put them in the freezer for me, darling? Thank you. And now finishing it off with water. I do about two cups of water and then I adjust as needed. It's a really good idea when you're doing a cleanse that you're using purified or distilled water. Again, it's very cleansing for the system, ensuring that any kind of heavy metals or other items that may be in your system that you're trying to get out have the freedom to move. So that is all now good and ready. It's over here. Awesome. Okay. So we'll plop this on and here we go.
it's ready, the kids come running. But <laughs> so now is all of that blended together. I know, I know. Yeah, you want some? I know you want some. Okay. But cool. that's for the seven Yeah, no, 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 no. So now that I have this all blended together, this little guy loves smoothies. So the moment he hears us rolling, he comes running. Ah, 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 ah. We're all done. We're gonna pour it out. Yes. Yes, dear. Not at this time, not at this time. So to finish it off with this smoothie, I'm going to be using some lemon vitality. Now I'm using lemon vitality oil versus using lemon juice for a couple reasons. One, I want to have some brightness and pop of color and that's what lemon vitality is fantastic for. Two, I'm also wanting to keep these smoothies low in acidity. I want it to be as alkaline as possible. Lemon juice is helpful as a detoxer. It's great, um, but I'm again wanting to keep it in the low acid range. So with lemon juice, it's naturally acidic. That's just how it is. But with any of your essential oils, including lemon vitality, no, 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 not in there. Um, but with lemon vitality oil, the great thing is it's pH neutral. All of your oils are going to be pH neutral. So I can get the benefits of lemon and do so without worrying about my acidic profile. So I'm going to pour them out of here. With essential oils, you're wanting to use them, your vitality oils, in glasses that are glass or stainless steel or ceramic you're really not wanting to use them in plastic so i transfer my mixture over first to a glass and then after that i add in just a single drop of vitality oil doesn't take a lot so here you go so one drop in there come on oh it's thinking about it Oh, there it is. Yeah. And also in here. Yeah, I know you'd like some. There we go. Yes, you may. You may surely have some smoothie. Excellent. So now they have some of the vitality oil in them. We are ready to go. I'm going to stir it in. And these guys are chomping at the bit for some smoothie. So hope this was a helpful video to you. And if you want to see more of the different recipes we use in our home, just be sure to check us out. All right. Chat with you later. Bye.